everybody has gone and welcome back to another video today we're going to be talking a little bit about kingdom hearts now don't click off the video because i know most of you love assassin's creed but just stick around because we're gonna we're gonna talk and this is gonna be a pretty <laughs> fuck and this is gonna be a pretty fun video so i want to talk to you guys about kingdom hearts why i personally love kingdom hearts and we're gonna go into it and it's gonna be a good one i'm excited i want to i just i really want people to care about kingdom hearts because it's so good and you don't understand it's so good i love it so much it's my life <laughs> So I wanted to make this video to explain why I love Kingdom Hearts, but also kind of as an introduction for people that haven't played the games because they're actually amazing. And I know right off the bat, it just looks so dumb. The fact that you're playing as this guy that meets up with Donald and Goofy, you go around exploring Disney World. It's, it sounds like the stupidest thing ever, but trust me when I say it's the best thing ever. And I, I, I can't, as much as I would love to explain to you guys why it's the best thing ever and sell it to you, it's literally almost impossible to do unless you play it yourself because I was so, so skeptical about Kingdom Hearts when I first heard it. Tyler told me on the Kill Connor Club, I was so skeptical, didn't know what to think. And then I played it because he convinced me, he convinced me, he was like, dude, just give it a shot. So I bought the 1.5 remix for my PS3, played it and fell in love. Like I could not stop playing that game it was amazing. The gameplay is so much fun. The fact that you have to level up, it's difficult as well, which is amazing. And it gives you a real challenge. And the story, the story's so good. It's so complex and in-depth. And that's what I love about it is that Assassin's Creed gives us, you know, a complex in-depth story where we can discuss it and speculate and come up with ideas and stuff like that. And Kingdom Hearts does the same thing. It's a very complex story. It can be convoluted at times, but I fucking adore it because we can just sit there. We can talk about it. We can speculate and come up with ideas. And it's one of the most fun things ever. And I just, if you haven't played it, play it because it's so good but i wanted to give an introduction to king hearts give an overview of what the main story is and without further ado we will we'll hop into it now so the main setup for kingdom hearts is that you play as this kid this 14 year old kid called Sora, who lives on a world called destiny islands he has two friends called riku and kairi that he's grown up with on the island they they dream of escaping going and exploring new worlds that they've heard of and leaving their own world of destiny island so they go to build a raft so they can sail off and explore other lands but before they can set sail the island is consumed by darkness and destroyed this breaks down the wall between worlds and a allows Sora to leave Destiny Islands and travel to various different worlds. Now, the worlds that exist in Kingdom Hearts are their own Kingdom Hearts properties, but also Disney properties. So there's things like Tarzan, Aladdin, Little Mermaid, Peter Pan, Halloween Town, The Lion King. It is amazing. If you're if you're a fan of Disney films when you were a kid, it's just the most amazing nostalgia to go visit these worlds and see what they get up to and be involved in an ongoing story where you can visit these various different worlds. If you want to think of it as, uh, as likening it to something else, it's like Mass Effect if it was on acid. That's a weird... That's a... Let's, let's cut that bit. It's essentially Mass Effect in a sense where you can explore these various different worlds, do quests, then you move on to the next world in your spaceship. So once you leave your world as Sora, you find yourself with this thing called the Keyblade. Now, it's a massive fucking key and it's a sword. It... <laughs> Sounds so weird saying it out loud, but it's this massive key and you use it to kill Heartless, which are the enemies that are just pure darkness. And you go around to different worlds, you have to lock away the keyholes. You meet up with Donald and Goofy, who are on a mission to save King Mickey. And you team up with them, you head off to these different worlds, meeting all these different characters, going on a fucking awesome adventure to save your friends Riku and Kairi, along with Donald and Goofy. And it is fucking incredible. Fucking incredible. It's fucking great. It's, I can't even... It's just, the it's just the best thing ever. It's just fucking amazing. And I can't even explain to you... Oh, dude, dude, dude. Just... Oh, I can't put it into... This is... This video is my favorite one I've made. I can't put into words how amazing Kingdom Hearts is, and I don't... I don't want to even try because it's so difficult, but I do want to say if you guys, if you guys don't believe me, I don't know what else to say. Just two things that I think you should do. One, buy Kingdom Hearts 1.5 Remix for the PlayStation 3. You won't regret it. If you don't have a PlayStation 3, go ahead and get an emulator. It's a PlayStation 2 game. You can get the emulators for, you know, Final Mix versions of the games. Just get the, get the emulators on PlayStation 2 emulators or whatever. Play Kingdom Hearts 1 and then you'll fall in love. So just get, get, the, get PCSX2, which is a PlayStation 2 emulator for a PC. Get KH1. Play it. You can upscale resolution so it's perfectly HD. Plug in a PS4 controller. Works awesome. 
and you'll you'll just love it. You just love it. It's free. It's free. You just download it. Like download the game. It's literally free, and you can play it. It's amazing. Um, and just trust me. Trust me on this. You will fucking love it. Let me know if you guys decide to do that in the comments, because that'd be awesome. And also, I just want to state that me and George stream Kingdom Hearts every single Saturday for like 10, 10 hours minimum. Uh, every single Saturday over on Horse Unifox. Links in the description. It's so so much fun. Trust me. Even if you're not into Kingdom Hearts, it's awesome. If you if you are into Kingdom Hearts, it's even better. And if you want to get into Kingdom Hearts, it's a good place to go if you don't really want to play the games just yet and you want to see what it's like. It's awesome. It's fucking awesome. Just, guys, intro, just play, play Kingdom Hearts. Just play it. That's just what I wanted to talk about in today's video. I just had to get it off my chest. I'll probably make Tuesday's Kingdom Hearts content. I think that's what I'll do. We'll discuss different Kingdom Hearts things. And it'll be awesome when I can try and get a Kingdom Hearts audience. Because I love Kingdom Hearts. It's so good. Oh my god. What is this video? I don't even know. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you next time. Bye.